Hi there, welcome to GLVCSports.com. We are at the 2013 GLVC Women's Soccer uh, Championship Tournament, and uh, we just finished our uh, first game here today at Quincy University. It was certainly a thriller. Third seeded Wisconsin Parkside, a two to one overtime uh, victory, or victor rather, over uh, number two seed Truman State. And, and with me today, uh, head coach Troy Fabiano, and uh, really the star of this game, uh, Wisconsin Parkside's uh, Nikki Pellants. And, and first, Troy, we'll, we'll talk with you. Um, what an incredible game. Uh, obviously, this was one where uh, 10 minutes into the game, Truman gets on the board, and then you guys keep fighting uh, nonstop. You, uh, you get to the toward the end of regulation there, tie it up, and get the game winner in, in overtime. It's been a great group. Uh, it's typical GLVC game. And if you look at throughout the season, the amount of ties that have been in the GLVC it just shows you how difficult this conference is. Uh, we knew coming in that uh, we played at their place. We lost 2-1 in overtime. When we went down, they told the girls, keep working, keep working, you get your opportunities. I just didn't realize they were going to wait that long before they finished the opportunities. But better than late than never, I guess. Yeah, that's right. Alex Johnson having the uh, the tying goal at the 86-minute uh, mark, and then uh, Nikki comes in in overtime, scoring it in 97 minutes. So, um, it, as a coach, you, you know you, you just tell them to keep fighting. And is is there any type of different shifts that, that you've got them working on with uh, the the minutes waning down with, in regulation, or uh, kind of take us through that that first game tying goal first? Uh, first, we we typically start in our formation with four in the back. Then we move one of our central defenders forward. Then we move another defender up top, just trying to throw numbers as, as, as many as possible to create some opportunities. And for us, it actually worked this time. But we did make some changes in our lineup uh, to create some chances because we figured, hey, you know what? And it's a knockout stage. You either get a result or, or you're done for the season. Well, Nikki, let's first talk with you. That is uh, that was an incredible goal. I mean, that was uh, and it, over our shoulders here is is exactly where she put it. It was top left shelf uh, from about 30 yards out. Take us through that game-winning goal. I mean, uh, thank you, first of all. But it, we, we just practice this kind of stuff. The coach, he, so, he gives me my, my, uh, my skills in practice. And I just saw a little, little spot. I was like, either someone's going to run into it or I just hit it. And she didn't get there, so... I was excited. I was excited. It was yeah. It was a it was a dream dream came true, especially this important kind of game. Very important in a game like this, and now you get to come back Sunday and play for a GLVC championship. Talk about what that means to to both you and the and the Rangers of Parkside. Uh, I mean, we the last time they they won it was in 2010, and um, we have worked really hard this year, especially with a lot of injuries. And be, I mean, being here first of all in the place for me because. I'm not like I'm not from the United States. Uh, it's it's just incredible that like they we can do this with the team. It's 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 amazing. It's it's just like just I said, it's a dream come true. It's everything I've ever wanted. And uh, I mean the team, we've just worked real hard and um, making goals in like the last seconds and just keep fighting is it's really important. So. I'm proud of them. Well, they certainly kept fighting. They were down 10 minutes into this game. They fought back hard and uh, scored with about four minutes to go in regulation. And then Nikki here scoring the game winner. Congratulations to UW Parkside. They'll be back on Sunday fighting for a GLVC championship.